Hey YouTube, Jay Green 302. I suppose I'll call this the solar project. It's on again. What I should be calling this is the power of one simple idea. What do I mean? Well, the solar project is back on. We're going in a completely new direction. Um, this entire video and everything I'm about to do compliments Doc Truck Town, I don't know, D-O-C-T-R-U-P-T-W-N. He made a comment on my solar wrap-up, and I'll quote you. Now you can get a small grid tie inverter and use the panels to produce some power back into the grid and recoup some of the money you spent, and then it's really free. LOL, later, Doc. Doc, that one comment. Thank you. My God, thank you. I was so tunnel vision on the project with the focus of satisfying the needs of my specs for when the power was out that I never thought that unless the power is out <clears throat> the equipment's really not doing anything but charging batteries and it's really hard to put that free energy to work if all it's doing is going into float mode and wasting the energy <clears throat> probably within an hour of Doc's comment I'll be ordering a grid tie inverter my mind is going a hundred miles a minute on how to rewire here's my thinking and this is all off the fly because uh, this is about eight maybe ten minutes after Doc's post <clears throat> If I've got a bank of three batteries and it's charged, what I could do is since I've got four 15 watt panels, I could wire one 15 watt panel to that bank and let it act as a trickle charger every day just to maintain those batteries. I could then take all the other solar panels and use it to run a grid tie inverter and supplement the house power so that every day the sun shines and any time that thing cranks power, those solar panels are recouping some of my investment. That's the power of one good idea. So, Doc, I'm talking to you. Just you, Doc. The hell with everybody else. The money I spent on the HD handheld camera to film that little setup, the time that I spent making all those videos on the solar stuff everything you just justified every ounce of it with that one comment thank you doc thank you um so it's back on folks um solar version 2.0 on the project just went into high gear i'm going to spend a little time doing some homework i, I i'm so enthusiastic right now i don't want to just jump the gun one idea and here's the part that has me so psyched and so jazzed I sit here embarrassed I mean embarrassed Doc he embarrassed me and that's a good thing I don't mind at all I'm, I'm thankful I'd be ten times a thousand times more embarrassed if a year later Somebody pointed out to me, dude, why haven't you been using a grid tire? Are you a freaking idiot? And at that point, I'd fall into the pit of embarrassment and never climb out. So thank you, Doc. The fact that I can recoup, and, and this was part of my design parameters. I was trying to figure out, okay, now i got a 1,000-watt pure sign and wave inverter. How do I get <clears throat> most of my lamps... this the remote control the battery all this little stuff that is the power gremlins that, that tend to just make all these little drains you know I don't want to drive um, not interested in driving some of the heavy hitting stuff but 
during the day, there's just a bunch of little stuff that's doing a drain. If I can cut that out of the power bill and have equipment that sits there every day for the next 10 years, quietly reducing that power bill, the investment, as far as I'm concerned, is worth it because I get everything in my original design that I wanted. And then I get this beautiful perk from Doc. So it, cost, it, it would cost me a little more in the, in, on the front end. It will drive my project cost up. And this is where... <clears throat> this is where the, the ability to understand the components and the design and everything. And as you saw, there's, there's nothing to this. One of my thoughts is, is I can just charge the battery bank up and then wire all the panels to a grid tie inverter and then just whatever power is produced, let it feed through the house and put that power to use. Another thought is maybe just having a switch where I can leave it on grid tie and then, I don't know, maybe once a month, flip a switch and just have all the panels go to a charge con controller charge the batteries and wait for it to go into float mode then switch it back now the batteries are not cycling so you save the batteries you're not you're not putting them under load um, every once in a while I can go in and exercise the batteries um, so that they're not just sitting there as like long-term sit and charge I believe you unless you have specific batteries designed for that purpose which I don't I have Walmart batteries but in general, um, I wasn't going to re really be recouping a lot, so I, I wanted to. I wanted to post it. It's one of the few posts where you see me smiling. You hear it in my voice. You can just tell how jazzed I am because Doc embarrassed me with, "Hey, stupid, you missed something," and that's the whole point of. Everything I, th I I think of in YouTube is is ideas. One good idea is worth so much. Thank you, Doc. My God, thank you. I looked at everything I did in my research mentioned grid ties, and because of that stupid tunnel vision, it went in one ear and out the other. And I, I and the moment he said it, and the light went on, I realized how many opportunities I had to develop that idea myself and because of that tunnel vision I missed it I, I it's not like me to miss something like that but I guess it reminds me that no matter how well you think on something unless you can get out of the box or somebody can can bump your thinking in a new direction you have no idea what you're missing because if you're not looking you can't see it Doc, thank you very much. Everybody else, Solar System Part 2, it's on. Thanks for listening.